Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Gamesy Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And we are going to be installing the Los Santos dealership. This is a wide map, and this is also the dealership that's down at the beach. You might be familiar with this dealership right here. I used this one in a bunch of my videos right here. So we are going to be installing this one today, all right? This one right here is created by Dark YT. That is the creator. Shout out to the creator. When you get down to this page, what you want to do is scroll down, read the full description. After you're done reading that, come up here where it says current and select the green arrow to download, all right? Now, as of requirements, what we are going to need is Map Builder, all right? We will be installing this today, all right? So make sure that you follow that link. And when you get down here, read the full description. And you want to come down right here where it says Download Map Builder Mod, okay? You want to click on this link to download it, okay? Now, you will also need Open 4. We will not be installing Open 4 today, but I will still have the link down in the description to videos showing you how to install Map Builder, not Map Builder, but Open 4. I will have links down in the description showing you how to install Open 4 if you don't have Open 4 installed already, okay? So make sure that you check the links down in the description. And once you have your Open 4 installed and you have Los Santos dealership and Map Builder mod downloaded, on my left hand side I have a folder with just two downloads. One download is Beach Dealership and the other one is MB Mod 2.2.2. Alright. This one right here is our map builder. When you download it, you will download it as a OIV package file. Okay. Over on my right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up and it is ready to go. Now for this, what you're gonna need is a mods folder, okay? So if you don't have a mods folder, go ahead and create a new folder and name it mods, okay? After you have created that inside of your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, go ahead and open up your Open 4. All right, I have my Open 4 opened up right here. Now before you go any further, always make sure that you have edit mode turned on. It's this little button right here. Go and select it to turn on edit mode. After that is done, what you need to do right now is go back over to your downloads where you had your MB mod. 222 at and you want to go ahead and double click it or you can drag it over all right once you double click it give it some time it's going to open up a package installer window all right once it opens up completely what you want to do is select the install button right here then select mods folder always select mods folder then you want to select install confirm installation. Now they might take a while to install, but after it's done, go ahead and close the installation window. Once you're all done with that, what we need to do now is come over to our open four. Then we're going to go inside of mods folder, then go to update, then go to X64 DLC packs. Look down for custom maps. DLC.RPF, X64, Levels, GTA 5, Underscore City E, Maps, Custom Maps.RPF. And inside that archive is going to be one Y map. It'll say Marina.YMAP. You can go ahead and delete that one. We won't be needing that. So now it should say this archive is empty. Let's leave it right here. Let's go back over to our downloads where we had our beach dealership folder. Go ahead and open that one up. Inside that beach dealership folder, we we're going to have one folder that has screenshots and then we will have a file that will say dealership.ymap. Let's go ahead and select the dealership.ymap and we are going to drag and drop that right here into our open folder. And you should see it be added right here. It will say dealership.ymap. Once that is all done, we can go ahead and close all archives. Minimize any other windows that we might have open and run the game All right, once you spawn into the game your dealership is going to be down here at the beach All right, let's go ahead and open up the map 
this is exactly where your beach dealership is going to be at right here down by Bay City Avenue once you get down here let's go ahead and uh, enter inside check it out real quick some of you might already like I said earlier be familiar with this dealership from my videos uh, we'll do a little minor tour real quick this is a uh, where uh, you could, you know, like have a little auto shop or whatnot, have some cars being fixed. You could stage them right there. You have the long workbench over there. And in here, we have like a showroom floor, you know, like with carpets that you could park your cars on. Um, we also have uh, two offices inside of here. And we have a front desk where we could have uh, some people working at. And behind that front desk, we have a lounge area with a pool table and ice hockey. And through this way, we have a lot of workbenches and some uh, car parts. As you can see on the right and left side of me, is nothing but car parts back here. Now, let's go all the way back here. And if we exit, oh. <laughs> oh, that was pretty close but if we come through here this would be another area that you could pull into and um, you know act like you're painting your car or whatnot they got uh, some paint behind this glass over here so this would be like a nice little area you could like you know act like you're painting your cars or change the paint to your cars but yep this will be it right here folks oh yeah and also in front you also have a nice display area right here where you could uh you know kind of parking cars on display yep 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 and you can save cars inside of your dealership but you will need persistence too okay I will try to include that in the video description so um, if you want to save cars here you can they will not fall through the floor and um, the dealership will be permanent meaning every time that you turn on the game it, it will automatically load in okay now if you want your cars to save with it like i said earlier you will need to install persistence too all those links will be down in the video's description all right so we're going to end the video right here if this helped y'all out to install it or if y'all just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding gta5 y'all this is games and graphics me and red we are out of here till next time y'all I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.